ambao wanaenda hospitali tunataka kukomesha hiyo maneno na vile 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 niliwaahidi ile pesa ya kulipa kila mwezi kwa wale watu wenye mapato ya chini wanalipa 500 tukishapitisha hii sheria tutabadilisha mambo ili walipe shilingi 300 kila mwezi tuhakikisha kwamba many more Kenyans can afford the platform to access universal health coverage haya ni mambo ambayo niliona ni vizuri niwaeleze mambo mengine yako mengi tuko na mambo ya poti ya Mombasa mi niliwaambia watu wa kutoka Mombasa ya kwamba mambo ya privatization ya poti ya Mombasa haitafanyika when we are in government niliwaambia kwanza ya kwamba nikifika ofisini ile maneno ya kulete CFS Nairobi ya kulete operations ya port ya Mombasa Nairobi tutarudisha port operations to Mombasa na tulifanya hivyo on my day one ile kitu mimi nataka niwahakikishie ni kwamba ile port sasa tunataka tuipanue vizuri na tuweke nafasi kubwa zaidi ya kuzalisha ajira na kuzalisha mali kwa sababu ile port sasa iko na uwezo ya kuserve South Sudan DRC eh, um, Rwanda pamoja na Burundi hata pamoja na eh, ndugu zetu wa Uganda hapa na tunataka tuipanue kwa njia inayofaa eh, we are going to work with the private sector in that process but the port will not be privatized i want us, i want everybody to understand that the port will not be privatized we are going to work on a concession process that is going to make sure that we protect the interests of Kenya we protect the interests of the port but we work with the private sector to increase efficiency to increase investment and to make sure the the port serves more people creates more jobs and becomes much more efficient and becomes much more broader and bigger so mambo yale mengine blue economy mnaelewa vile nimetembea the whole of uh, coast province kwa mambo ya blue economy the whole of uh, kule nyanza nilikuwa busia juzi kwa mambo ya blue economy we have a very clear plan on what we are doing good people mimi niliona nichukue nafasi hii ingawaje ndefu kidogo niwaeleze kwamba serikali mliochagua inafanya kazi sio kama tunaelewana eh inafanya kazi na mimi nataka niwahakikishie hii serikali itabadilisha taifa letu la Kenya. I have no doubt in my mind that this is the administration that is going to change Kenya for the better and is going to make Kenya that country that we have always wanted it to be. Tunaelewana jameni? Na nimetangaza waziwazi. Na mimi natangaza nataka nitangaze katika gongomano hili la watu wa National Governing Council ya UDA ya kwamba hatutaruhusu ufisadi na wizi na ukora kuharibu nafasi yetu ya kutekeleza manifesto na kuhakikisha kwamba pesa za umma zinatumika katika transformation ya taifa letu la Kenya hiyo haitafanyika na nimesema waziwazi watanirudie kwa wakora wote na wezi na wale wa ufisadi mambo yao ni matatu mambo yao ni mangapi ya kwanza wahame Kenya sio ya pili waende jela na ya tatu Os, mambo kuisha tunakubaliana hapo tunakubaliana hapo Os. <laughs> ya pili niliwaambia the reason why we are having this meeting is because of uh, three issues number one, i wanted to give you a report of the progress we are making in the implementation of the manifesto upon which we were elected as an administration number two, ni kujipanga sisi kama wana UDA hapa tumekutana leo kama wabunge senators governors naibu wa rais mimi eh, MCS na wale officials wetu wa, wa 